everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new home and welcome to my laundry room where today's project is taking place. Now, as you can see from behind me, there is a lot of tape and plastic up. Uh, the contractors came in and protected every, all the surfaces so they can start to repair tape and paint the ceilings this week. So today's my only day to get in here. So as the video states, this is storage between two two by fours. Now I'm not gonna show you how to do that because one, this is already here, and two, I don't know how to do that. So if you're something that you're actually interested in doing, um, reach out to a contractor or so that you can make sure that you're not gonna be cutting into any important electrical stuff or anything that, just anything. Just make sure that's something that you're able to do in place that you wanna put this. Um, these, uh, storage between two, two by fours is great for small spaces. So if you wanted an inset storage space for like a bathroom, a laundry room or whatever, this is something great to have. And in this case, this was already here and this little hideaway was used for an ironing board. Now, I don't know when the last time I ironed something, so I actually don't need it and I wanted to use it for storage. So I've already removed the ironing board right here, right here. And the tool I used was this because my drill, I didn't have a flathead drill bit for my drill. So I found this, used it, took a little long, then longer than normal, but it worked. So I removed that and behind me is the hideaway right here. So that ironing board was attached to these metal pieces right here. Um, the more that I look at these metal pieces, the more I know I'm not gonna be able to remove them. I don't wanna damage everything. I don't wanna have to pull everything off and redo it. So I'm gonna have to keep these here, but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover it and hide it away. So, but, but, but also be able to still use that the space um, these are flat enough that I can put them, I can put a cubby right here, just a small one, and then we can actually put like mail or magazines or whatever we want back in there and these things won't really interfere. So I'm going to do that. I might remove this door, um, but then I'm going to have to fill in the gaps where the hinges were because I don't want it just to make it look like the door was removed. I'm going to make it look all seamless, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to have to paint everything, I'm going to have to cut my boards, and I'm possibly going to put a wallpaper back here behind this, or on this wall right here. Something that um, is going to look nice, so when you walk in from the garage, which is right there, you're not going to look at this brown piece of wood, or just, you know, whatever. So that is what's going on today. Um, I'm going to try to do this right now, as soon as possible, as so I got wrap up my talking. So, um, cause today's my only day of doing it and I have to make sure I can be able to paint and let everything dry and go ahead and do it for you today. So with that said, let's get started. Now I don't have my tripod on my camera. So you're sitting on a, um, step ladder. It works. So 